station called Songs of Love is about to change all of that. Actually, they have been changing all that for quite some time, and we're about to record their 25th thousandth original song. We're joined now by its found, founder, John Peltzer. Welcome. Welcome Good John. to have you Thanks here. for having have me. Here. Thank you so All much. Right. The, mi the mission, is there a mission statement? Yes. Uh, songs of Love Foundation provides fully produced personalized songs for children and teens who are chronically or terminally ill free of charge. So each song contains the child's name and all of their favorite things, uh, pets, uh, friends, whatever they like in their lives, we put into the lyric and we create an original song just for that child. Well, how did you come up with this organization? Uh, I actually had a fraternal twin brother who passed away, Julio, uh, in 1984, and two months before he died, he wrote and recorded a song called Songs of Love. So 12 years later, I'm walking down the street in, in, in my neighborhood in Forest Hills, Queens, and I had this incredible epiphany, just like when a song comes to me, mm -hmm. to create this organization and the name for the organization came to me instantly. It's the song that he wrote two months before he died called Songs of Love. Who do you get to do this? Because yes. it's a lot of songs. Right? Yes, yes. Yeah. We, we've worked with hundreds of songwriters across the country. Like? Uh, we've, we've actually had Billy Joel did a spoken introduction. We had Michael Bolton. Uh, we had uh, Ital Shore who won uh, the Grammy uh, Song of the Year, uh, Smooth. And he actually won the Grammy after he wrote the song of Love for a Sick Child. So we like to think it's a great karmic oh. payback. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, all right, so here we are 18 years later. Yes. It didn't happen like that for you, right? There were a lot of ups and downs, I'm sure, to get to this point. But you're at the 25,000th recording. So, yeah, so. What yeah. does that mean to you? It's, it's just an incredible milestone uh, that we've been able to come this far. It's a testament to the work that the organization is doing, the songwriters are doing it. It's, a, it's a, just a great way to give back with the talents that you've been given. So it's had such a tremendous impact uh, in the, across the whole country. You could imagine when a child is going yeah. through a serious illness and then they hear a song that's all about them. It's a real pick-me-up. Yeah, you know? Which brings is. us to our recipient. Yes. Would you like to introduce us or, or uh, tell yes. us who's... This is uh, Amber. We actually, uh, we were introduced uh, to Amber and Mom Lisa. Welcome, uh, hello. Welcome, Good welcome to have you to here. Thank you. And uh, we're very happy to be uh, doing this uh, 25,000 song of love for Amber, and, and, and that was recorded by a uh, great band by the name of uh, Player, and uh, written by Tony Asher, who wrote God Only Knows, Wouldn't It Be Nice? Sure. And, and Jimmy Hammer is a great so Songs of Love songwriter as well. Well, let's talk to Amber a little bit. Um, Amber, you were just, you know, a, a six-year-old child, and then one afternoon everything changed for you. Do you want to tell us what happened? Um, I had a seizure in the middle of a soccer game. And what happened? Um, I went to the hospital. Right. Uh -huh. And from from that day forward, you uh, had, and yeah, by the way, that was when you were six. How old yeah. are you now? Eleven. You're eleven. Oh, what a great age. What a great age. And a beautiful smile. Mom, what uh, what happened on that day? Um, I actually got a call from her preschool that she had had a, a, ma a massive seizure. Um, they rushed her to the hospital. Uh, she was unconscious for about three hours. Turns out uh, she was having multiple seizures uh, that we didn't necessarily see. Um, went to 50 to 70 seizures a day, multiple medications. Eventually, uh, we were referred to a specialist at UCLA who diagnosed her with something called Rasmussen's encephalitis. What um, is that? What? Yeah. They, they believe it's an autoimmune disorder of the brain, so the brain begins to attack itself and atrophy. Um, the, the condition can spread and it can go into the other hemisphere. Mm -hmm. So we were told that really our only option was to remove the portion of her brain which had been affected. So they removed um, a large section of her right hemisphere. Did they tell you there'd be any repercussions from it, any loss of memory or speech or anything that goes along with that part of the brain? Yes, it, um, it's different for every child, but we knew that she would definitely lose motor function. We knew that she would lose peripheral vision. Um, she may lose cognitive ability. Um, because it was the right side, not the left, we knew she would probably gain the ability to walk again after the surgery mm -hmm. and speak and things like that. Amber, do you still enjoy doing a lot of the things that you used to do? Yes. I yeah. Do. Like what? Um, I like to dance, do karate, I like to sing, and I like to garden. Oh, wow, you'd fit in here well. <laughs> Except for the dance part. I don't think anybody around here knows how to dance. <laughs> I understand. Uh, that's for sure. But I understand you also do very well in math. Yes, I do. <laughs> Are there any other subjects in school that you like? No. 
No, okay. <laughs> You're very, she knows what she likes. <laughs> well, she's a comedian as well. How does, um, let me go back to you, John. How does someone become involved if they'd like to nominate their child or somebody they know? Yeah, uh, people could just uh, get onto our website at songsoflove.org. You know, we don't charge for our service. You know, we're a 501c3 charity, so we survive on donations. So right. people can just get in touch with us uh, through our website, songsoflove.org. And, uh, you know, we're looking for uh, also many more uh, singer-songwriters who want to give back with the talent sure. that they've been given. How did, uh, Lisa, how did, how did this come into your realm of existence and wanting to do this? Um, um, I was publishing a newsletter for the Hemispherectomy Foundation. It's a foundation that began roughly when Amber had her surgery. Um, it's a nonprofit as well, and they bring all the families and resources together for parents going through this. Um, it's amazing the number of children affected. Um, and, you know, I believe uh, John contacted them and they contacted sure. me and said, hey, we think Amber would be a good fit. What's it mean today? The 25,000th song. I mean, it's not comprehensible, it, <laughs> really. Right? Yeah, it's, uh, it, I think I'll realize later well, yeah. what a big deal it is. I yeah, what do you think about this? I'm excited to hear my song. <laughs> okay. Do you? Yeah, you've never heard, you don't know the lyrics, you know nothing about the song, no, right? I don't. Well, well, we I, think it's, I think yep. it's getting close. Yep, it is. All right, we're going to step away. When we come back, we're going to finally, Amber's going to hear that song. We're going to help in that process, yes, hopefully be helpful yes, in it. Yes, we are. But we've been enlisted to partake. We're heading outside on the stage. We invite you to join us next. She is the 25,000th recipient of the original song. Yay! Yes. And I want to just tell you, Amber, this is original, if yeah. you know what I mean, because we're going to be singing. There'll be yeah. nothing like this. Yeah, really. <laughs> and we apologize Ever. in advance. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about the Songs of Love experience yes. briefly. What is that? The Songs of Love experience we've been doing for many years for corporations, associations, and various groups. And we come in with a song that's already recorded for a child, and we get everybody to help finish the song by adding their voices right over uh, the pre-recorded song. Okay. And uh, it's it, and we're debuting this on the show. We've never done this on television before, the mm, Songs yeah. of Love experience. We've never done this either. Yes. yes. Yeah. Oh. Which, uh, so which will be first. painfully yeah. obvious, I think, in a just, a, for us. In just a little bit. So uh, before we get into embarrassing ourselves, but doing it for you, Amber, because yes. we love you, yes. and we're so proud to be a part of it. Um, you know, but you talked about some of the players that are involved in this. When I mean yes. players, I mean the players. musicians, players. but also the band player, and you know them from their big hits. Baby, uh, come back. Uh, baby, come baby back. Baby, player. Yes, player. So, yeah. uh, uh, they Ron sat down in the recording studio recently, along with um, you know Tony Asher, the writer of that song, and they recorded the lead vocals for her song, for Amber's song. So let's show a little bit of that to you right now. done many, many songs for Songs of Love. It's kind of a dream project in a sense because the hardest thing about being a songwriter is what am I going to write about? And in this case, we never have to worry about that because we get a terrific subject uh, to write about every time. Amber, Amber. We get information about the individual child and then we write a song that's personalized. When the child receives the song, it's uh, just a magic moment, you know. It's the best part of this is, is watching when they first play their song and haven't heard it before. Well, we're very happy to do this for Amber and her family, especially at this time of year. It's almost Christmas, right? And uh, she's a very special kid. Hello, Amber. I hope you like this song. We did our best to sing it good for you. So I uh, hope you enjoy it, you and your family, and have a great Christmas. Oh, yeah. Are we really going to see backup or player? Is that what we're yeah, going to do right now? Yeah. Okay. Um, all the family members have yeah. stepped up to the mic. Uh, I, you guys, have you warmed up properly? Oh, yeah. John, I, I'm going to ask you to step over yes. to the side here because you're going to have to kind of be our ringleader yeah, here as we do this. I'll whip you guys into shape. So we don't. Okay. Not so close to the microphone. No, no, she's so on your microphone. Okay. Okay. No, okay. No, she's on your microphone. All right, the, guys, let's sing from the heart. This okay. is for Amber. Listen to the lyrics. They're all about you. They're all the things that you guys. Yeah. Had sent in your mom had sent in for your song and let's do this shall we hi amber with a band player here's a special song of love written just for you hope you like it this is john saying here we go we know what good they call on it darling you it's all this 
Alfredo. <laughs> Fettuccine Alfredo. Songsoflove.org is the place you need to go to get some more information. We're coming back. Tanya's going to sing through her segment, are you? Yes, let me show you how to make some DIY tutus coming up in just a few minutes. DIY tutus. <laughs> 